Sky here and welcome back. This is episode 69 of the FIFA 18 My Player Career and we are at the end of March right now and we have a big game to get today's episode started. It is at Old Trafford where Manchester United face our rivals Liverpool. Uh, now Manchester United got to be the favourites going into this one. Uh, not sure where Liverpool stand in the league table right now uh, but we know that we are top and if we can get another three points in this first game and uh, we'll remain top of course I think we're quite a few points ahead of whoever's in second place and uh, something we'll have to look at pretty soonish uh, but early free kick here for Liverpool just inside their own half uh, but let's see if we can try and get ourselves forward here just a couple of minutes after that free kick and Liverpool yet again pushing back and they've won themselves another free kick actually Seven minutes gone, they've had themselves two free kicks and this one a little bit more dangerous than the last one. Swung in there, nodded on and off the woodwork. Good chance there for Liverpool to sneak one in. Thankfully the woodwork saved us there. Kai's currently on a 6.3 rated and there is Klopp. He thought his side had gone one goal ahead. Well thankfully for us they did not. Good defending there from United eventually. I thought he was going to give the ball away there. Yeah, but Kai's asking for it, couldn't get there and Liverpool... Still applying the pressure here and they've got themselves a third free kick. So ten and a half minutes gone here at Old Trafford. And you have to say it's been all Liverpool so far. Uh, Tony Cruz steps over this one. Gets swung in towards Timo Werner. Now De Hood back out to Cruz who misses it. And that is going to be a Manchester United throw. So hopefully now we have the possession. We can push forward and try and get ourselves a foothold on this game. We are into the second period of the match. And yet again, though, it is all Liverpool. Good interception, though, from Anthony Marshall as Kai plays it through the middle. Actually, he's running all the way himself here through the middle. He's currently on a yellow card. That is a beautiful ball here from Kai. And uh, cut back, laid off towards Kai. And uh, there is the opening goal of the game. It took a while to come in and it, but his 110th goal of his career. Kai gets the first goal of the game. And it is now Manchester United 1, Liverpool 0. And hopefully the first of a few goals to come. Uh, but good patient play there from Manchester United. It was Paul Pogba who just laid it off there. And then Kai with the shot across the face of Karius, I think it is, in the Liverpool goal to give United the one goal lead. So just over an hour played here at Old Trafford. Manchester United holding on to that narrow one goal lead as Liverpool try and get themselves back into this match. Good little turn there from Kai. Can he hold off the player? He can indeed. His mark is still chasing him though as he plays that 1-4 for Martial. Kai back inside there. He needs to lay off, which he does. He's carried on his run. A bit of space open up in the middle just outside the six-yard box. And Manchester United lead now two goals to nil. And I think with that goal, it is going to wrap up the three points here for Manchester United. As Kai goes off celebrating his second goal of the game. That's his 111th goal of his career. And I'm not sure how many is that for the season now in the Premier League. Let's have a look. Refresh my memory. Nice little goal there from United. That is his 14th Premier League goal of the season. Uh, so not the most goals he's had in the season so far. But at least he's up there getting the goals. He's got quite a few assists this season as well. Still got plenty of games remaining. And as we push forward here for a third Kai plays it through, shot comes in, but good save in the end from the Liverpool goalkeeper, Karius. He keeps the scores at Manchester United to Liverpool nil, And there is the final whistle then here at Old Trafford. A good victory against one of our biggest rivals and a nice three points. Kai finishing the game with an 8.7 final match rating. He scored the only two goals of the game, of course. And that means we can head into the second game of today's episode as he did pick up the Player of the Month award, as you can see on the right side of the screen. Now this one, we're heading down to London to take on Queen's Park Rangers now. We were the favourites against Liverpool, so surely we've got to be the favourites against QPR. Yeah, I'm sure they're not having the best of seasons, but they could surprise me. You never know, the underdogs can come out and surprise the big teams, especially in the Premier League. But fingers crossed that we don't let that happen today. Try and get a goal or two. See if we can get Kai back on the score sheet as well. He scored two against Liverpool. Can he get his third in the week? And that's a nice little control there. He's going to try and barge his way all the way through. And is he going to do it? Nice little turn. Opens up some space. Plays it through. Good interception though from the QPR defender. Not sure who it was who got his foot to that. But it was a beautiful little touch. And if he didn't get that touch, I think Manchester United would have had an early lead. And still pushing here for an early lead as that ball tries to get through the defence. But somehow QPR come out with it. Clear it. And possible counter-attack. 
Thankfully, the counter-attack didn't come to anything. Now Manchester United back in possession with a nice little one-two there between Kai and Fellaini. As Kai gets it back, pushing forward, he's got Lukaku in the area. And Kai's actually been taken down here and it is going to be a penalty kick. The referee awards it. Manchester United with a chance to get an early goal. Kai goes down and Lynch, he picks up a yellow card for Q Q Queen's Park Rangers. Yeah, nowhere near the ball. Took Kai, Kai down. And then it is going to be Romelu Lukaku then to give Manchester United a one goal lead. Can he do it? He can. Into the top corner. Goalkeeper dived the wrong way. So score is QPR nil. Manchester United won. Just over a quarter of an hour played here at Loftus Road. And already Manchester United are looking good for the three points. And of course another, uh, another victory. And that's his sixth Premier League goal of the season for Lukaku. He's not having a great season, is he? Kai's got more than double the amount of goals that Lukaku's got. But, of course, Mbappe has been starting a lot of games recently, which is always good. He was the reason that we remained here, of course, in the summer. 20 minutes in. Manchester United looking to double their lead as Kai tries to play it through. He couldn't play it through. Um, but, thankfully, the rebound went straight to him. Is it a nice height to smash it? And he did that indeed, and it flew into the top corner, bounced off the woodwork and into the back of the net to double Manchester United's lead then. That pass there deflected up, and boom, top corner off the woodwork into the bottom left corner. And that's his 15th Premier League goal of the season for Kai as Manchester United go into the second half with a two-goal lead. And now can we push forward for more? QPR right now, they're in possession. They've just lost out. Nice little one-two there again with Fellaini in the middle of the park. Kai asking for it. He gets it. And Fellaini onto that far side. Kai's waiting for the run of somebody. Nobody went for the run. So he takes off the shot himself. Goalkeeper gets down low. Makes the save. And he does go out of play here for a Manchester United corner kick. As Lukaku goes off. And of course it is Mbappe who comes on in his place. Uh, plenty of time for Mbappe to try and get himself on the score sheet. But it is Fellaini just inside the area who found the ball coming towards him. He heads it into the back of the net. And the goalkeeper mustn't have been able to get up uh, fast enough to get over to get that one. But it is now QPR nil, Manchester United 3. Let's have a look at the replay. Came straight towards Fellaini and the goalkeeper... Uh, he didn't really do anything, did he? Went across the goal and then he just fell on his arse. So that is Fellaini's first Premier League goal of the season. He's not a big goal scorer, is he? But it is nice to see him getting on that score sheet. Three goals nil. I think the three points are guaranteed now. So we got the three points against Liverpool. Three points here against QPR, which leaves us with just one more game to go, of course, in today's episode. As Kai pushes forward here, 25 minutes remaining, he takes a shot. And the goalkeeper just lets it go past him. He was in goal for QPR. That was terrible goalkeeping. But what a goal it was from that man. The main man right now. He is a man on form. And another goal for him. And four goals to nil for Manchester United. Not the greatest of angle. But let's see what the goalkeeper does. He just watches it go past him. Maybe it was a bit of a finesse effort there from Kai. A little bit of curl on it. And Anthony Marshall is coming on in place of Andre Schürrle on the left side of the Manchester United midfield. And we've still got more time to try and get ourselves a fifth here. And Mbappe wins the ball straight from kickoff. And Kai, look at the space already, the pace. And a little dink over the outreaching goalkeeper. What a goal that is. Manchester United's fifth. And I think that, of course, wraps up Kai's hat-trick as well. 20 minutes remaining on the clock, just over 20 minutes remaining, and it is now QPR nil, Manchester United 5. And what a performance this has been from Manchester United. I think we've got to be the favourites now for the title. It's only a few games away, a few victories away, and we will be crowned the Premier League champions once more as we go into the final 10 minutes here at Loftus Road. Uh, Manchester United pushing forward, looking for a 6 off the woodwork there from Mbappe. He went in for the rebound as well, but QPR are going to get this ball clear. But well, what a chance that was for Kylian Mbappe to score Manchester United 6. And it's still time for that 6 to go in. As Kai's there with the interception here for United. He gets the ball back. He's going to charge all the way forward himself. Plays it through here for Mbappe, who goes through again and again. He hits the woodwork. Can you believe it? He's not having much luck, is he? 
since he's come on. And that one is going to be a free kick here for the QPR goalkeeper. And to Marshall, just jumping into him, giving away that free kick. And he actually gets a yellow card as well, which is a bit harsh. I thought it was an even ball to go for, but the referee says no. Into the final minute we go then, and this has been an absolute thrashing here for QPR. Manchester United have been absolutely on form. Kai's been on fire, and still they are searching for the sixth goal. Is there going to be enough time to get it? As that one's played through, tries to find Kai through that little gap, but the defence was there. They get the ball clear. The referee blows the final whistle. And here in London, it does end. Queen's Park Rangers nil, Manchester United 5. Kai picks up the um, hat-trick and, of course, the match ball. Finishes the game with a 10 rating. Uh, been a while since we've been able to do that. He did get an assist as well, so man of the match performance from him. And that leaves us with the third and final game in today's episode against Burnley. This one is away from home, but we're travelling back up north. And let's see if we can make it three wins out of three for us today and see if actually Kai, if he can score in this game that will be um, all three games that he's been able to score in he got two in the first game three in the last one can he get four in this highly unlikely but you never never know and as Manchester United push forward looking for an early goal of course we have to be the favourites because we are in outstanding form right now Kai's on fire the team are playing well Mbappe is playing well although we had a couple of shots hitting the woodwork at the end of the last match See if he has a little bit better look in today's game. He's not on the pitch just yet. It is Lukaku who's got the start ahead of Mbappe. As Kai plays that one forward here for Lukaku. Just lays it off to the right side there. Manchester United playing patiently. Passing around. No rush to get the first goal. 20 minutes in. Here is Kai. Just inside the area. Hits it. Oh, oh, oh. can you believe it? And with a form he's in right now, I actually can believe it. He smashed that one on the edge of the area and it's flown into the far corner. Goalkeeper just didn't stand a chance whatsoever. And look at this. Let's have a look at the replay. I think it was just inside the area. Actually right on the line of the area. And what a goal that is. Another goal for Kai. And boom. One goal to nil for United. It's his 18th Premier League goal of the season. If he can get a hat-trick in this game, that means 20 goals so far with a handful of games remaining. As Manchester United in the second half, pushing forward, looking to double their lead. Five minutes to play before the hour mark. Here is Kai, just lays it off backwards there for Matic, I believe it was. But Kai's actually been taken down there. And Burnley have given away a free kick in a dangerous area. Uh, more dangerous if an actual AI teammate is going to take it because we're not really great at taking free kicks ourselves on this game for some reason. Uh, let's see. It is going to be Kai who steps up. Uh, let's try and curl it into this near post. The curl is there, but a little bit too much curl on. It goes straight into the hands of the Burnley keeper, Heaton. And he's going to get this one forward. So right now, Kai's currently on an 8.4 match rating. Looking to try and get it into the nines before the final whistle blows. Kai tries to play that one through. Not a great pass there. And Burnley playing a little bit dangerously here at the back. They need to thump this one forward. Otherwise, Manchester United are going to apply the pressure and push forward for a second goal. Next fixture, as you can see there, that's the game that we're going to be starting off tomorrow's episode with. Is the Manchester derby as Lukaku goes through there. Scores Manchester United second. Just over an hour played here. And it is Burnley nil, Manchester United 2. Nice little ball this was as well. Look at this beautiful little through ball and simple finish. Past the keeper, near post. Shouldn't have really been beaten from there. But we'll take it. And Lukaku scores his seventh Premier League goal of the season. As Pogba has just come on. Um, not sure who went off. Maybe Fellaini. I can't see Fellaini. I don't even know if Fellaini started. Could be wrong. Well, here is Kai. Manchester United looking for a third. He tried to play that cross the middle. But good defending there from Burnley. Just over 10 minutes remaining, Manchester United have themselves a corner kick. Kai's coming for the near post corner. It actually goes out wide on the edge of the area. Shot comes in and that one flies into the top corner. Who was it? Is that Pogba? It is Paul Pogba. He's not long come on and he grabs a goal for Manchester United. That's the third of the game and the first time finished. Beautiful goal actually. Great technique there from Paul Pogba to score his first Premier League goal of the season. That does surprise me. Uh, but we'll take it. It is now Burnley 0, Manchester United 3. And uh, nice little interception there from Kai. Waiting for the run on that near, on that far side, sorry. But he's going all the way himself. His shot was saved there by the goalkeeper. But the rebound 
who wasn't, and it is Anthony Marshall who flies in to score the fourth goal of the game. Just a few, oh no, not Anthony Marshall, it's actually Mbappe. He must have come on then, and it already has got himself on the score sheet to give Manchester United that fourth goal of the game. And if we can try and get one more, we've got less than 10 minutes to go, try and get one more, that will of course match the score that we got against QPR in the last game. Uh, nice finish there. Unlucky Kite, he couldn't get it past the goalkeeper originally. It was a good save there from Tom Heaton. Uh, but it is now Manchester United who lead four goals to nil. Fourth Premier League goal of the season for Kylian Mbappe. We're into the final minute. Kai's up to a 9.2 rating. That's what we wanted to get him into, the nines. And maybe one last attack here for Manchester United. Kai's got a bit of space. He's got support for post where he plays it across. And that is a fantastic goal. Beautiful assist there from Kai. And Kylian Mbappe scores his second goal of the, of the game. That's his fifth Premier League goal of the season. And very, very good goal there from United. Nice little counter-attack. Beautiful pass from Kai straight across the six-yard box. And Mbappe wasn't going to miss from there, really, was he? And, of course, that means we have matched the scoreline, which we got against QPR in the last game. So two games, ten goals. And Kai's just been a man on five. He's not scoring. He is assisting. And there is the final whistle. And what an episode this has been. Some great performances, some fantastic goals, and one step closer to be crowned Premier League champions.